Welcome to Electron Online and in this video and the several ones to come we're going to take a step back and take another look at special relativity from the basic principles of how Einstein looked at it. Einstein came up with two postulates and those two postulates really defined all the equations that came from that who that then determined how we calculate all the various things that happened at relativistic speeds, at speeds very close to the speed of light. The first postulate we're going to talk about is called the laws of physics are the same in all inertial reference frames. So it's the postulate of reference frames. And so let's say there's two different reference frames and we want to be able to compare the observations from one reference frame to the observations from the other reference frames. How do we do that? Well, it depends. It depends whether or not the frames are inertial reference frames. So what is an inertial reference frame? An inertial reference frame is, a con is in a constant state of rectilinear motion. That means it's not accelerating in reference to another inertial reference frame. So we have two reference frames. One could be moving relative to the other one, but it has to be moving at a constant speed relative to the other one. That's what we mean by a constant state of rec rectilinear motion. If the inertial reference frame is not accelerating, it's considered an inertial reference frame. If the reference frame is accelerating, then it's not an inertial reference frame. And then we can make the transformations from one reference frame to another. So that was one of the basic premises, one of the basic postures that Einstein came up with. If we have two reference frames and they move relative to one another, but they move in rectilinear motion, they're not accelerating, then they're considered reference frames. And because of that, he can say that the laws of physics are the same in all those inertial reference frames. That was his first postulate. So, measurements such as time, position, and velocity in one inertial reference frame can be converted to measurements in another by simple transformation. Now there's two types of transformations. One is called the Galilean transformations and the other one is called the Lorentz transformations. When do you use the Galilean? When do you use the Lorentz? Well, you use the Galilean transformation when it's Newtonian physics when you know that the speed is much, much less than the speed of light. So if anything in that observation, anything in those reference frames happens at low speeds, you can use the Galilean transformations, which is, uses the basic Newtonian physics. But if the speeds involved are very high, approaching the speed of light, then we have to use the Lorentz transformations, and then we're dealing with what we call special relativity. Then when we look at the events in one reference frame from another reference frame, some very strange things happen. Strange things happen to the velocity that's measured, the time that's measured, the mass that's measured, the length that's measured. Things change in those different reference frames, even though their inertial reference frames, because of the high speeds, if u is close to the speed of light, if the speed of one reference frame relative to the other reference frame is close to the speed of light, then we have to use the Lorentz transformations. And we're going to show you some videos on how to do that. So basically, let's say you have two reference frames. We, we denote them as S and S prime. So S is usually the one that we consider fixed. Now, they could both be moving, that's okay, as long as we just say that we're going to put a coordinate system that moves along with reference frame A, and therefore that reference frame is fixed. So we move, so that since the coordinate system is moving with the frame, we can consider that reference frame at rest. So we call it S for at rest. The other frame will be moving at some velocity u relative to s, and so we call that s prime, which is the moving reference frame. So let's say some event happens somewhere in space, and observer b in reference frame s prime measures the distance to that event and measures it as x prime. At the same time, observer a in reference frame s, the non-moving reference frame, the stationary reference frame, also measures the distance to that event and measures, measures that distance as x. So, can we go from one to the other? Can we compare what x prime is in terms of x and x in terms of x prime? And the answer is yes, we can do that. Assuming that s prime moves away from s at velocity u, then we can see that if they were both at the same location at t equals zero, then after a certain amount of time has elapsed, s prime will be some distance away from s. That distance is the speed times the time because distance is velocity times time. So the distance from there to there is u times t. So therefore, we can then transform using what we call the Galilean transformation, where x prime this distance is equal to this distance minus u times t. And so you can clearly see that graphically like this. Now it turns out if the velocities are very large, if u is a very large velocity, then the simple Galilei transformation can no longer be used because then time 
and velocity are relative, and so we have to make some special allocation for that. But the principle is the same. That's what we call two reference frames, two inertial reference frames, one moving at steady speed relative to the other, and we should be able to go back and forth between these particular units of time, position, and velocity. And we'll show you how to do that in various ways under various circumstances. But this was one of the basic postulates that got us going in understanding the concept of special relativity. In the next videos, I'll show you the second postulate and how that was utilized to come up with more concept, more insight how, in how to look at special relativity. And that's how it was done.